CLEAT stands for the Council on Law Enforcement Education and Training. It's the state agency that sets the training standards and provides continuing education for the law enforcement community. We go to the CLEAT Academy in Ada to see how it trains officers to serve and protect Oklahoma citizens. Drive, drive straight on, look at your arm. You, as you went, your arm just kept going. The whole time is here, striking. Thomas Johnson is learning techniques to disarm a gunman. It's an essential skill he'll need as a police officer for the city of Jinx. But Johnson can't become an officer until he is CLEAT certified. That requires attending a 16-week basic peace officer training academy where recruits undergo nearly 600 hours of classroom and practical skills instruction. Drive and strike. Under. Janelle Van Buskirk is one of Cleet's defensive tactics instructors. It's her job to make sure students learn multiple ways to safely take down and disarm suspects. It's very important um, because they never know what they're going to encounter in a fight. Like a gun pointed right between their eyes. Well, having that pointed in your face, that's worst case scenario. Um, we have to train for the worst because we have to be able to react when everybody else is panicked. We have to be calm. Um, but it's, it's still nerve-wracking even in here. Students learn techniques that don't rely simply on brawn. That's because peace officers come in all shapes and sizes. I think our, our smallest person we've ever trained was four foot, didn't weigh 100 pounds, and our largest individual was six foot nine and weighed about 400 pounds. So our techniques work for everybody. They work off of leverage. Since 1968, the state has required all Oklahoma peace officers to be CLEAT certified unless their department has its own basic training academy. CLEAT Executive Director Steve Emmons says only a few agencies do, and even those must meet CLEAT certification standards. In northeast Oklahoma, it's Tulsa and uh, Broken Arrow. In the central part of the state, it's Edmond, uh, Oklahoma City, and Norman and the Highway Patrol has theirs, and then in the southwest part of the state, Lawton has their own academy. During the 16-week certification course, students eat, sleep, and train at Cleet's Ada training facility four days a week. Everyone going through the academy must be already hired by a law enforcement agency. So the amount of hiring agencies do dictates how many students get certified each year. We will average 400. Uh, students a year on uh, the years when the kind of during the recession recent recession we had gotten down into the 300s uh, but just prior to that we had a year where we had over 500 so it really varies with the economy and how uh, how the agencies are able to hire their people or not the cost of cleat training is covered by the agency's six million dollar annual budget funding comes from three sources Fees collected for licensing private security officers, state appropriations, and fines. When a person receives a, a ticket, $9 of that, that fine is going to be directed to the training of law enforcement officers. Because the amount collected from tickets and fees varies year to year, Cleet State Appropriation does as well. The legislature will look at those two amounts and come in behind that then and say, okay, to stay what you had last year, here's how much general revenue you will receive. We're talking about civil liability. We're Certification begins with classroom instruction. The law is a lot. Um, we are expected to know not just federal law, but Oklahoma laws as well. And then for a lot of people, we have our city laws, which, you know, compound. And then the county sheriffs have to know all the county laws. So it's a lot to learn. Along with legal lessons, students study human relations and communications techniques. We have to be able to communicate with everybody and be able to relate to them and still give our strong presence as a law enforcement officer. They also study ways to deal with a broad spectrum of mental health issues. When you start talking about mental health, you're talking about a lot of other issues like Alzheimer's uh, and, and dementia. And that's something that the legislature this year passed some new legislation on to increase the training on that. Some of the most important training CLEAT does happens here on the driving track. On the lower track, students learn basic law enforcement driving techniques, while on the upper track, it's pursuit tactics. While training, they do use flashing lights, but no sirens. The scary statistic is that more officers are killed in traffic accidents every year than 
in any firearms incident or any other type of an incident. Cleet trains officers to steer using the lower portion of the wheel for maximum control of their vehicle around obstacles and in tight turns. They also need to learn how to stay a safe distance behind a suspect and ways of keeping fleeing vehicles from driving on the wrong sides of the road during a pursuit. Once Shallon Jay gets Cleet certified, she can transition from the reserves to being a full-time officer with the Porter Police Department. Certification requires proficiency with firearms. Pretty much you're learning to aim to at what you're shooting, um, the accuracy of what you're shooting. Um, that way nobody in the background of your target gets injured. Sounds simple, but it's a lot harder than it looks. Students have to hit designated areas of the target while shooting from various distances and from different positions at least 80% of the time to pass this section of training. They have to do the same thing with a shotgun, and soon rifle training will be added. While cleat certification is good for life, most of these students will go back to the training academy frequently throughout their careers either to brush up on their skills or to fulfill their state-mandated requirement of continuing education each year.